All right, Ryan. Well, you've uh, you've had to watch these first three uh, quarterfinals uh, happen, and finally you're the fourth and final one. I'd have to think uh, you're pretty antsy, finally ready to get into the cage. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, you know, uh, it's kind of nice being at the end watching these different fights and kind of looking at the bracket, you know, from uh, bird's eye view and, and seeing potential matchups and whatnot. But now it's my turn. I got to go in there and do what I have to do. Um, watching that Fedor Mir fight, you know, it was uh, – Got pumped up after that and, and just ready to do my, my part. And, you know, my goal here is to be a two-division champion. And so, um, but I can't look too far ahead. I got a tough fight in front of me on Saturday, and uh, that's what I'm focused on. You know, you're, you're the light heavyweight champion. Why do this? Why, why enter this tournament? Why go for a second belt? Why not stick to solidifying your status as a 205-pound champion? You know, uh, when I won the belt, I definitely wanted to defend it before I did it, anything, you know. And so I uh, went out there, uh, finished Linton Vassell, who I, who I think is a top five guy in the world, regardless of promotion. Um, so I defended that belt, solidified it. And then, you know, we got a call. Are you interested in maybe doing a heavyweight tournament? You know, we had no clue who the names were, not even how it worked. If it was one night, if it was over time, you know, we said yes. I came over to Bellator to do stuff like this, you know, to be, uh, to be flexible, to fight, you know, in – potentially at heavyweight, you know, looking, doing some tournaments like this, fight Japan. I was open to everything. And so um, with that mindset, I'm not going to say no to something like this. And then we started to see the names kind of fall into the bracket. And that that's when it, it became real. And, uh, you know, legends of the sport and guys that are, you know, uh, some of the best fighters in the world. So that's why we did it. Is there also, I'm wondering, is there also a part of you, because you never got that UFC title shot, do you feel like you're making up a little bit for opportunity that you didn't get that maybe you felt you deserved when you were in the UFC? No, I wouldn't say it was making up for it or, at all, you know, because I can only do so much with, with what I'm given, you know. Um, in the UFC, I always, I always wanted that, that chance to shine, you know, and, and um, I got that chance over here in Bellator, um, and now I got another chance. I'm not going to pass those things, things up, you know. Um, being a two-division champ in, in any promotion is a big deal, um, let alone in one of the biggest promotions in the world in Bellator. Um, so for me, it's just, uh, you know, I, I got that light heavyweight belt, and I'm always, uh, I'm always thinking, what's next? I'm a competitor um, in the heavyweight championship of the world. In a Grand Prix format with the names in, involved, it's just something you can't pass up. And, yeah, having two belts, you know, around, around my waist and it, it's going to be uh, definitely a pinnacle in my career, but it's not the end for sure. You know, you're, <clears throat> you talk about being part of this heavyweight uh, tournament, but you're matched up against a 205-pound guy in King Mo who, you know, we would fight anyway. So w w how does that sort of fit into, you know, you guys with this matchup? Um, in this heavyweight tournament, but you guys are the, are, are the smaller guys, so to speak. Uh, what do you what do you think about the matchup with King Mo? Yeah, I love it. You know, I think I'd be fighting him anyway. I think he was the guy next in line for the title shot. Um, so it, we, it just threw a little wrench in it, and we're fighting not for the title, but for first round in the Grand Prix tournament, and, and it's a big deal. You know, the the loser is out, and the winner moves on. You know, and I have my goals, and I definitely want to go in there and not only win, but look impressive. You know, he's a tough opponent, fellow wrestler, um, great wrestler, um, has good hands, good boxing. Uh, I just feel like I could do everything a little little better, you know, and, and I feel like I'm at a different point in my career, and I feel good. I, my cardio is always there. I'm training harder than I ever have. And I think uh, everything's lining up. Perfect time for this tournament. As the champion, though, and you come in facing King Mo, who basically would be a, a title challenger, is this does this feel like a title defense for you? Not really. I've kind of, you know, closed that wall off for right now and closed that door and just kind of moved on. And, and we're going into the heavyweight tournament. You know, it's a it's a different mindset going in. And I've been asked this a few times, but you know, this is a three round fight. Also, you got to take that into account. A five round fight is, is totally different, you know, uh, of what a light heavyweight championship bout would be. You know, we're going in here three rounds. Um, it's, you know, uh, winner moves on. And so I've kind of just, you know, blocked that whole part out. You know, so I'm looking at this as a whole new fight, a whole new tournament. It has nothing to do with the light heavyweight division. You know, if I'm fighting for the title, we're fighting five rounds. It's a different game plan, mindset, the whole deal. It seems like it's the difference between defending versus you're going after something new. Is that pretty much sum it up? Yeah, yeah you know, it's a good way to put it. You know, uh, definitely have that. I'm going to have that fire regardless, but it, it, this is something new, you know, in this sport. Um, even though, you know, it was done, you know, many, many years ago, it, it's kind of being brought back. It's fresh. It's fun. Um, there's never been a 
a point in my career where I knew if I win who I'm fighting next and potentially who I'm fighting after, you know, that's already lined up for me. So that's, that's something new and exciting also. Uh, you brought this up in the Bellator Countdown Series, the wrestling match that you had with King Mo. Seems like it was something that's kind of on your mind. Uh, can you sort of, well, first of all, when did, that, when did that wrestling match happen? What year? Yeah, it wasn't really on my mind. It's just, you know, I've, I've, I got beat by Phil Davis back in the day, too, you know, got revenge on that. It's, uh, that happened when I was, I was coming in. I was a freshman. He was either junior or senior. Um, kind of went out in a tournament, and uh, he, he was a good wrestler, you know, and, and he, he beat me pretty good in that, in that uh, wrestling match, you know. And so, um, you know, that was 16, 17 years ago, you know. And so here we are competing again, and, uh, you know, that's what I love about this sport, you know, uh, you know, love or hate your opponent you know we're all competitors and, and look what you know we came from wrestling now 16 17 years later we're fighting in the biggest promotion biggest card you know uh bellator history here and, and having fun what do you remember about that that match um i was just i was out there and uh, he came out and he, he used to do his jump before and he jumped over my head and i looked back and uh, aaron simpson and eric larkin um, Aaron Simpson was a, a former UFC fighter and all that. Eric Larkin was a national champ. I looked back and they knew him because they wrestled with him before and they were they were laughing. Um, they they knew what I was in for, you know, and I was just a freshman coming in. And so, uh, yeah, you know, it's just one of those things where it's uh, you go out there, you get your butt kicked, and then you come back, and, and uh, now it's my turn. Do you expect wrestling to factor into this matchup heavily with King Mo? I have no idea. You know, it's one of those fights where... Any fight you go in and you you could use wrestling, you could not, you know. But I'm, I'm I feel like I'm just getting into the, my point in my career where everything's clicking, everything's clicking together. Not just oh I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and try to take him down. No, I'm gonna go out there and try to beat him in a mixed martial arts fight, you know. So I'm gonna use everything that I have. Um, if it ends up on the ground, great. If it ends up on the feet, great. I'm, I'm versed everywhere, feeling good everywhere. Uh, King Mo <clears throat> had some uh, strong words questioning your motivation basically calling you a family man, you know, you're focused on that, not fighting. Did that sort of catch you off guard? And what do you make of those remarks that King Mo uh, made about you? Yeah, I said it before. It was one of the dumbest comments I've ever heard. You know, I'm out here being active, defending my belt. I won the belt, defending my belt in a time that he hasn't even fought, you know. So um, for me, that was just kind of asinine. You know, his, his last big win was Rampage Jackson over a year ago, you know, and I'm out here fighting. You know, look at my record. It's top 10 guys all the way through, you know. I'm not fighting any gimme fights. Not saying that he has either, but I'm consistently fighting top five, top ten guys in the world every single, single fight, and I'm and I'm winning. You know, I'm nine and one in my last ten fights. You know, tell me where you see that I'm I'm lacking motivation in that. Uh, this is a heavyweight fight, uh, and I know you sh sort of struggle to cut to 205. So I have to I have to imagine you feel pretty good this week heading into this fight. What will you weigh, and, and how do you feel heading into the week? You know, I was coming in last week about 2.30, a little over 2.30. Um, my body always kind of, when a fight comes around, it starts, you know, shedding a little bit of weight. So I'll probably be around 2.25 to 2.30. Um, feeling good. Right now, at this point, doing this interview, I'm thinking about cutting weight, and I've already kind of got pounds off. I'm, I'm, I'm limiting my water, my eating. You know, so now it's, it's uh, I keep all that up. It's one less stressor. And I don't care what you say, even though I don't cut a ton, a ton of weight. You know, going in there and sucking 15 pounds of water out of your body and fighting two days later, it's got to do something for, you know, adverse for your performance. And so I'm looking forward to not having that, going in there and fighting at a weight that I usually fight at in, in training and sparring. And I know I feel good then, so I'm going to feel even better here. And the last thing I want to ask, I know you don't want to look too far ahead past Saturday, but you look at the other side of the bracket, it's Chael and Fedor. And I know Fedor is one of those names that's a mythical name. Everybody wants to fight that guy. So can you just sort of speak a little bit about what that opportunity would be like if you could get that far and he could get that far and what that fight would mean to you? Yeah, you know, and it could, it could come quick. You know, we're uh, two fights away of being in the finals. So I go out there, I do my part. That's what I was saying earlier. I got to do my part. You know, uh, he went out there and beat me here and looked, looked good. And, and I got excited because I think all of our, you know, perfect matchup in the finals would be Fedor you know uh, he, he's one of the, the greatest of all time we've watched I've watched him been a fan of his and to be able to get in there and uh, not only be in there with Fedor but beat him in a Grand Prix style tournament to win the heavyweight belt there would really be nothing better so I got to go out and do my part thanks Ryan appreciate your time